Hey guys, it's Tim with MVP. As the title of this video implies, I'm going to be using um, wood ash for paver sand. And there's a couple of reasons why I like to use it as opposed to using the actual paver sand. One of them is that it keeps the weeds out. Um, mine I've just pressure washed. I'm getting ready to apply the wood ash. But uh, <clears throat> as you can see in the areas where it's still pretty good in there, it actually forms like a cement in between the pavers and the ash itself is very alkaline so it keeps the weeds from growing and it's pretty easy to put down it's free I own the factory right here and uh, I usually do it once a year just to clean it up so I have pressure washed and uh, what I'll need this is 14 foot in diameter is about a five gallon bucket of clean ash. Now I say clean, um, I occasionally will burn like pallet wood so there'll be some nails in it but those just sweep right out as you're sweeping it in between the cracks. So if you had uh, paver sand in yours and you wanted to do this you want about a quarter inch um, of area so that the ash can settle in. Oh well, there's Lucky, this is his favorite place to lay in the summertime, it keeps him cool. So, I am going to get some wood ash on these and sweep it around, and we'll go from there. Okay, here I have a, <clears throat> a pile of ashes. I basically just laid it out in a line, and I'm going to sweep it in. I'm going to work my way around the circle until I've completed it, but you basically just sweep it in its entirety, the whole pile, and you'll see, like, some nails popping up here, those will go around this the pile. And you want to leave it in the cracks pretty heavy, so if you see where you um, where you sweep too much up, just go back and fill it in again. Just need real light pressure with the broom. And you go both ways when you see a crack, just fill it in. I'm going to get this done and we'll go to the next part of the process. Okay, we've got the wood ash down on the pavers. It's kind of heavy in the cracks and just kind of swept over light on the top of it. And that's what it looks like. And if there's areas where you're not happy um, with how it's covered the edge of the pavers, you can always go back and just touch it up afterwards. But there's a couple other benefits that I neglected to mention. Um, if you're using paver sand, you typically will use a plate compactor to vibrate it into the cracks. That's the proper way to do it. And if you're just sweeping it in, it's just basically laying on the surface and not doing much good. Um, with this, the, the ash is so fine that it basically will find its own way into all the cracks. And then the other benefit is ants do not like this stuff. And <clears throat> if you have a problem with ants on your pavers, ash is the way to go. But final part of the process is after you sweep it all in is you want to wet it down you want to kind of start your whole thing early in the day so that you can do this a bunch of times what you want to do is just mist it lightly and then as it dries or after it dries keep repeating that process as many times so you want a couple of days with dry weather so that you can do this properly and you'll get a little bit heavier every time that you uh, missed it. So basically what I'm going to do is just go around and mist the entire surface. And that gets the cracks wet and starts turning it into like that cement type process. Now it will only turn into like a cement in the cracks, not on the surface.
And it'll be about half hour, 45 minutes before this dries, and then I'll come back and do it again. And the more times, the better, in my experience. Then when you start doing it heavier, it gets rid of the ash off of the top of the paper. So I'm going to do this process about five or six times and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, I just got done doing about the sixth application of water. Still wet, but that's kind of the look I'm going for. And tomorrow it'll dry out. There'll be a little haze on the top of the pavers. And that will either wash off in the rain or I can rinse it off tomorrow morning. But this will wind up being like a cement type mortar that keeps the weeds out and it looks kind of cool and to me that's much better than the paver sand